Sila Serenity Prayer Line Covenant Partners, listening audiences throughout the nations and the world. We welcome you to Midday Manna. Minister Javon greets you with the love of the Lord during this time of prayer. Prepare yourself to be replenished, refreshed, revived, and cleansed in God's holy fire as we enter into the throne room of God by the ushering of his Holy Spirit. May restoration be your portion. Listen to this prayer and set your mind third dimensionally to receive what the Spirit of the Lord is saying concerning his church. Please hold for the prayer, and God bless you. Oh God, I bless you, Father. Upon this day, oh God, I thank you, oh God, for the listening nations, oh God, and the listening world. Oh God, bless your people, oh God. Oh, God, and bless your nations, my God, from Zion. Oh, God, bless, oh, God, the people of Israel in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you, Father, for this is midday manna. I welcome all of the listening audiences, my God, from Zion and all the covenant partners, my God, of Sila Serenity Prayer Line. Oh, God, I thank you, Father. Oh God, that eyes have not seen, no ears have not heard, nor has it entered into the hearts of man, the things the Lord hath for those who love him. First Corinthians 2 and 9. Oh God, I thank you, Father, for your grace. And I thank you, God, for your mercy, oh God, that you have placed and that you have set upon your people, God, in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for the scripture that says, oh God, that no weapon formed against thy maid servants and maid servants shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Oh God, in every tongue that rises up against us, oh God. Oh God, I condemn them now, God. Oh God, by the power of the Holy Ghost and by the blood of the Lamb. Oh God, we thank you for Isaiah 54 and 17. Oh God, I call for the angels, oh God. To work, oh God, during this midday manner, oh God. For people that are listening, that are on their jobs, oh God. People that are traveling in their vehicles. Those that are at home. Oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh God, may the angels, oh God, work, oh God, and war for your people, God, upon this day. Oh God, I thank you, Father. 
for the 11th month. Oh God, 11, oh God, it's the time of switch. Oh God, and I thank you, oh God, that you are switching, oh God, bad things to good things, oh God, in the lives of your people, oh God, upon this day. I thank you, God, that you are intervening and intercepting, oh God, the plan of the enemy, oh God, concerning your people, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. That prosperity and posterity, my God, shall be your people's portion, my God, upon, oh God, this season and dispensation of their lives. Oh God, as I pray, my God, from Zion, I see families in the name of Jesus. Oh God, bless the families, God, during this Thanksgiving season, oh God, that families will be mended, oh God, in the spirit of love, unity and harmony oh God oh God for this time and in this dispensation and seasons of their lives oh God I hear a word in my spirit oh God First Thessalonians 5 and 18 the Lord says in all circumstances some of the scripture says in another version KJV in all things God says give thanks in the name of Jesus oh God we thank you God for the families God we thank you God for the unity but most of all oh God, we thank you. We thank you, God, for everything, my God, that you have done for us, oh God, concerning our lives. We thank you, God, for the food that's upon our tables. We thank you, God, for the breath of the Ruach, my God, that awake us up, oh God, daily in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, for the provisions, oh God, that you have made. We thank you, God, that troubles, my God, don't last always. We thank you for the jobs that we have, oh God. We thank you, God, that the limbs, oh God, uh, upon our bodies, oh God, are working in the name of Jesus. Uh, and even for those, oh God, uh, that have lost limbs, oh God, or may be in a handicapped state, oh God. Uh, we thank you, God, uh, that we have eyes to see, oh God, uh, and that we have ears to hear, oh God. Uh, and even those that do not have eyes or ears, oh God, uh, we thank you, God, for life, uh, oh God. Uh, Upon this midday manner, oh God, we are grateful. We are grateful for marriages, oh God, and marriages that did not separate, oh God, and went into divorce court. And even if the marriages of God have separated and went into divorce court, oh God, we still say thank you, God. We thank you, God, just because you are good, my God from Zion. We thank you, God. We thank you, God, for being great Jehovah. We thank you, God, just because, oh God, my God, of who you are. We are grateful, God. Upon this Thanksgiving season, God, oh God, every day, oh God, not just for the holiday of Thanksgiving, oh God, but every day, oh God, oh God, we are supposed to give thanks out of our spirit, oh God, and out of our soul, oh God, I hear the Lord say that you give me thanks, my God, by your worship, by the way that you live, God says, not just lifting up the holy hands, my God, from Zion, but God says, walking in the obedience of me, the Lord says, that is how you give me thanks. Isaiah 1 and 19 says, If ye are willing in obedience, you shall eat the good of the land. My God from Zion. God says, Obedience. The Lord says, shows me your love, and it renders your thanks. Oh, God, we thank you, Father, for being God. We thank you, God. Oh, God, for the Holy Son, my God. We thank you, God, for the tribe of Judah, God, the lion. Oh God of Judah, we thank you God for the Holy Spirit. Oh God, we thank you. I heard the Lord just say, we thank you God for your saving grace. We thank you God for your saving grace. Amazing grace, my God, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. Oh God, we thank you God that you have given us, oh God, that you have granted us, oh God, everlasting life. Everlasting life from the everlasting Father. We thank you, Father, that you have defeated every enemy, O oh God, concerning our past, present, and future gods. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are great Jehovah God. Jesus is Yeshua. Oh God, we thank you for the Holy Ghost. We thank you for the power, God, of the dunamis. We thank you, God, for the agape love, loving us unconditionally, oh God, loving us, God, despite of us, oh God. We thank you, God. Oh God, for your mercy. Oh God, for your mercy endure it forever. Oh God, your mercy endure it forever. I hear the Lord say, 
Oh God, save in grace. Save in grace. We thank you, God, that you have saved us by grace. We thank you, God, that you have saved us, oh God. You have forgiven us, oh God. And you have saved us by grace. The grace that Jesus carried, my God, to the cross in the name of Jesus. And go, God, to my God from Zion. We thank you, God, that the grace of God was upon Jesus as he looked up at the people, my God, and his enemies in the name of Jesus. And he tilted his head to the side and he said, it is finished. We thank you, God, for the saving grace, oh God, of the cross. We thank you, God, that you have saved us, oh God, that our souls, oh God, would not burn, oh God, into a blazing hell, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that we shall not be tortured, oh God, at the times of the end times, oh God, that we will be saved, oh God, that the righteous, oh God, will get a righteous reward, my God, concerning you, oh great Jehovah, concerning you, Father. I hear the Lord speaking to my spirit. He said, go back to the angels, my God, from Zion. I thank you, God, for the angels of the third dimension, God, the archangels of heaven, God, that fight daily, oh God, for your people. Oh, he's pointing out, my God, the angel of Raphael, the angel of healing, my God, from Zion, for people that will be experiencing the holiday season this week. The Lord says, I am healing you, my God, from Zion. Those that are bereaved and will not have their family members, my God, around the table, the Lord says, I'm healing you now. As you hear this prayer, the anointing of grace, the anointing of healing is flowing through this prayer because Jesus said, I am a bomb, my God, a Gilead. The Lord says the healing power, the healing virtue that's coming from this prayer. That says, I'm healing your mind, God says. I'm healing your spirit. And the Lord says, I'm healing your soul and I'm healing your heart. That is for the bereaved people that have lost loved ones, including myself, my God, people that they love, that will not be around the dinner table. But the Lord says rejoice, my God, from Zion. For if your loved ones served God, that they are now in the bosom of him, my God, from Zion. They are in glory shouting and rejoicing. And they want you to shout and rejoice for them, my God, that they made it over, my God, from Zion. That they made it over My God Oh God I thank you for your virtue Oh God And your spirit of healing Raphael touch people now They need a touch from my God From the Savior Oh God Raphael Touch now in the name of Jesus That God's people Will be healed By his virtue The woman With the issue of blood My God Just say if I can but just touch The hem of his God And my God the hem of his garment she said I will be made whole God says as I touch you as you listen to this prayer for midday manner God says I'm healing you because you have touched upon my garment as you have listened to midday manner my God in the spirit of obedience oh God I hear the Lord say 1 Corinthians 15 and 22 that obedience, the Lord says, is better than sacrifice. God says, be obedient and trust him. God says, Proverbs 3 and 5. The Lord says, trust in me with all of your heart. God says, with everything in you, God says, trust me. So you may not understand me, but God says, trust me. God says, trust my will, my God. God says, so trust my ways concerning your life. The things that have happened around you. God says you may not comprehend or understand what I'm doing. But God says I'm an orchestrating God. My God. And the Lord says I'm orchestrating your life. My God from Zion. As I get ready to get off my God. From midday manner. God says I'm reorchestrating. God says I'm restoring my God. God says I'm rearranging some things and some people. God says I'm cutting people off to add people on. Come on God. God says I'm cutting them off. To add people on That you will walk my God In my kabod In my kabod of my glory God says Oh God I hear the Lord says This nations of people God is speaking 
to the nations. The Lord says, trust my will in your way. The Lord says, trust my will in my way, not your way. God says, that's a correction. God says, trust my will in my way for your life. God says, this is a time in a spirit of healing, the Lord says, that is falling. I hear a silence in the realms of the spirit. Hey, God. Hey, Jesus. Jesus. Oh God, the Lord's touching now. God's touching elbows, my God. People that have pains. Oh God, in their elbow, we call it a funny bone. The Lord says, I'm touching now, my God. People's legs. He's getting rid of arthritis, my God. God says, I'm touching people now. The Lord says, that broken heart, my God. That displeasure and discouragement. God says, I'm touching your heart. God says, I'm touching the situation now. In the mighty in the name of Jesus. God says those. Even I see a broken ankle. God says I'm healing it my God. I'm healing it now God says. I cancel any premature debt. I cancel any freak accidents with you falling down and breaking limbs. I cancel it in the mighty name of Jesus. Hey Jesus Jesus. I cancel it off of your life. I break it off of your life. I see the fire. The fire of the third dimension, my God, fire represents consuming. God says, I'm consuming everything that does not belong from away from your life. I feel, I see the fire. The fire heals things, my God. Fire, God says, from the third dimension, it's falling. My God, there it is. God says, the fire is falling, my God, upon everyone, my God, that hear this prayer as the clover of tongues, my God. I fell at the time of Pentecost. God says, the fire is falling upon you, my God. As you listen, my God, the anointing of this prayer. Oh God, the anointing is great. God says, I am a great God and I am great Jehovah. God says, the fire is falling. God says, fire God from heaven, the Lord says. It's falling upon you now. To heal you, God says. To consume things, God says. To fix you, God says. To make you, God says, into the will, into the glory of God. Oh, God, I'm getting ready to end. The Lord says the fire is falling. Raphael, the archangel of heaven, my God, carries the fire, the fire of healing. You, God, oh, God, let Raphael touch people's now, oh, God. Let him touch people now, God. Oh, God, let healing take place. Healing of virtue, God. As we enter, oh, God, into the rest of this week, God says I'm mending broken hearted people, God says. The Lord says, I'm mending that situation that you're concerned about. I'm mending that financial situation, that finance problem, that bill that you're concerned about. God says, I'm healing it and I'm making it to be so. God says, paid in full all bills. The Lord says, in this season, my God, I feel the glory. He said, it's paid in full. Do not be concerned about the holidays. That is a man-made holiday. God says, I shall still give you the desires of your heart. Psalms 37 and 4. God, I bless you, Father, for this prayer. I bless the people, God, that's attached to this prayer. I thank you, God, for the the listening nations. I thank you, God, for Africa. I hear Abuja, Nigeria, my God. I hear that country in my spirit. The fire. Of the third dimension has fell. The fire has burnt up. Satan and all of his lieutenants. All of the princes of darkness. Are consumed God. In this fire. The blood of Jesus. Is over you. The blood of Jesus. Is over your situation. God says the fire of the firmament has fell. (laughs) Did you catch it? Mm. The fire of the firmament. Of the third dimension has fell upon you. When you get off of this midday manna, you shall be different. You shall see the manifested glory of God. See, God's doing things differently in this dispensation of time. It should not be as usual. God is touching people in real ways. God is using his anointed to bless people even through prayer. 
even through contact of the telephone or cell phones, God says, I'm healing with my healing virtue. You won't have to go into the house of God just to be healed. But by your faith, the Lord says it has made you whole. Come on, God. The woman with the issue of blood. You have touched the hem of his garment. In your obedience as you have came on to midday manner. And your reward, your great reward, I hear God say, is healing for your spirit. Healing for your body. And healing for your soul. The angel of Raphael governs and wade through this prayer for anybody that listens to this prayer. And the fire of the firmament have fell from the third dimension. I feel a silence in the realms of the spirit because God is trying to shake up your feet. I keep seeing the word families, those that are having problems with your family members, problems with your children, even the people that's listening that have children, your children are blessed. They shall rise up and call you blessed. If you train up a child in the way that they should go, when they get old, they shall not depart from it. I don't care what you see them doing. It's what God has said in his word concerning your child. If you have trained them up in the things of God, they shall never depart from it. Those that have children incarcerated, God says, I'm freeing their spirits. I'm freeing their souls. Even in the physical, they may be locked up inside of a jail cell. Come on. God says that their spirit is free. Jesus says you could do what you want to the body, but you cannot take a man's soul. Am I right about it? In Matthew 10, my God from Zion. So God, I thank you, Father. For the listening nations, I keep hearing him saying that. Africa, Obuja, that is located in Nigeria. My God from Zion, the people that would listen from the faraway lands, my God. God bless you. I thank you, God, for the fire of the firmament that has fell from the third dimension for your people. The Lord says in all things, give thanks. First Thessalonians 5 and 18. Isaiah 1 and 19, if ye are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. And lastly, the last scripture that he placed in my spirit to give in this midday manner is Jeremiah 33 and 3. He said, if you call unto me, I shall answer you. And I shall give you, and I shall show you great and mighty things in which you do not know. God has answered you on things that you don't even know about. Because he's an intentional God. He's an all-knowing God. He's a futuristic and prophetic God. Hey, God says, I worked it all out concerning you. God, I thank you, Father. For the fire that have fell, that your glory shall be like splendor throughout the earth. As people listen to this prayer, as it travels, oh God, let the fire of the firmament, God, burn up everything that does not belong. Oh God, I bless you, Father. And I thank you, oh God. Oh God, I lift this prayer up to you, God, in the third dimension, Father, where you live. In Jesus' name, God, I thank you. Let the fire of the firmament have fell from the third dimension upon this prayer. God bless you. Minister Javon's heart hopes that this prayer has touched your heart. She prays that your mind has been transitioned and that your heart has been renewed as you prepare to continue in grace with the journey the Lord has set before you. Believing hearts and believing minds produces great faith in God. If you would like to sow and seal this prayer for your life, you may sow via the following methods. PayPal at paypal.me slash Selah Productions INC. Cash app is cash.app slash dollar sign Selah Productions INC. Visit our website, www.celawproductionsincorp.org and click sow a seed or call in to sow by credit card at 225-623-9449. Remember to name your seed and email your prayer request to line at gmail.com. To hear this prayer by phone, call 857-347-0610. Please share this prayer broadcast of Midday Manor with your family and friends. God bless you. God is here. <laughs> Ei ai, ei ai, 
Yeah, 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 yeah. 